Hi guys, I'm Lindsay Cummings, and today I want to talk about thankfulness. Every now and then I get on a tangent, um, kind of about different things that have to do with life, I think as many of us do. But it's been kind of a hard week for me this week. Not only because of my hair, but because as you guys know um, from my last video, if you watched it, I just got back from two weeks in a row of fun author live stuff. And I've started noticing a lot of times when I get back from events that I just kind of feel almost like there's this weird kind of fog that kind of falls over me. I have been very vocal on my social media accounts about how I've dealt with depression and anxiety for a lot of my life. It made high school and middle school very difficult, um, to say the least, and actually is a large part of why I started writing books. Writing books was kind of an escape for me that I could kind of get away from my own problems and my own sadness and just dive into ruining someone else's life um, through fiction. So anyways, this week um, I got back from two awesome, really incredible author events. One of them was Y'all West, which is one of like my dream events I've always wanted to go to since I started writing books. And events are incredible because you go and you show up and there's all these readers that are super excited to meet you and they love books just like you do. And you sit on panels in front of hundreds of people and you feel like you matter. And then after the event is over, you go and you hang out with all these other authors and you talk about books and writing and the industry and you just make friends and it's so much fun. And then you come home. By the time you get home, you're exhausted and life just kind of hits you in the face and you don't have the energy to deal with it. And many of you may or may not know that I actually do not have my own home currently. My husband and I have been living with uh, a lot of his family for the past almost two years now. And there's a lot of awesome things about it, but I'm an introvert um, by nature. And so when I go to these big events and then I come home and I just wanna be in my little shell of darkness and parks and rec and dogs and no humans, I live with a lot of humans. Um, and those humans are not my own blood, they're my family by marriage, and as much as I absolutely love them and it's been so much fun living with them and living with my husband's incredibly funny, strange brothers, sometimes it's really, really hard because I come home and I just feel like I can't escape. And a lot of times it hits me really hard after events because I get here and I just feel like I can't, I can't handle it and then I start stressing out and then I start feeling like, like I just need a hug from a dog. I need a hug, give me a hug. Give me a hug, I love you! And then I kind of start to spiral into this little like pit of despair when I realize like I was just around all these people and I don't really want to be around people anymore. And I, then I start feeling like, well, there were all these incredible authors. Like, what if people liked seeing them more than they liked seeing me? And what if I wasn't good enough? And what if I'm never invited back? And then I'm exhausted and I realize I have deadlines and I don't think I have the energy to tackle those deadlines. And then more self-doubt pours in and more darkness. And then I, before I know it, I realize I'm super bitter and I'm super unthankful about everything around me. I stop seeing all the positive things and all I see is this just like dark cloud that blocks everything. And for a lot of days after I get home from book events, I'm just angry. Which is so weird because like six years ago, I was desperate to be a published author that was going to events, that was getting invited to events and getting to sign copies of books and talk to readers. Six years ago, I would have been like over the moon about getting home from a book event and being like, that was literally the best thing ever. And so I think today I kind of just want to talk about thankfulness. Today I went on a really long um, horseback ride. My horse is very slow. Um, he's lazy and a lot of times I am way far in the back, kind of lost in my thoughts. And so today as I was riding and it was this beautiful, beautiful sunny day and the wind was blowing and the sky was like this pristine shade of blue that reminded me of the ocean. And I was riding on my own horse that I purchased with my very first book check for the murder complex. And I just kind of realized, you know what? Life is pretty awesome. <laughs> yes, I don't have my own house with my husband. Yeah, I'm not like this mega extreme best-selling author whose books are like all over the world and in every bookstore. I don't have the best clothes and I don't have the best hair. And I definitely do not have the best personality when it comes to the days when I'm exhausted. But I have a lot to be thankful for. And I think that you have a lot of things to be thankful for too. And then I started wondering, you know, what if we woke up every single day and instead of thinking of, oh my gosh, I'm so stressed, I have an exam coming up, or 
I'm in a fight with one of my friends, or like, I don't like the way I look today, or man, I just really wish that I could like get my book published and have it in this store or go to this event. What if we woke up every single day and instead of focusing on the negative, we focused on the positive? What if we got up every single day and we listed out the things that we're thankful for? I do this on occasion, but every now and then I kind of fall out of the pattern of thankfulness. But I just think it's so important for us to be thankful for what we do have, especially with how the world is going and how things are just always seem so dark and ominous right now. And so today, one of the number one things that I want to be thankful for is you guys. I started writing because of some major health issues that I was having and I wasn't able to go to school and so I just did writing as a way to cope and now it's turned into a career. And as I'm coming down from this like event excitement and kind of falling prey to the negativity that, that just naturally comes from going from this craziness to this nothingness. I just want to look back and remember the days when I didn't get to do those things. And I want you guys to be thankful for so many things too, because I think every single day it can be really difficult, especially if you're a naturally negative person like I am. It can be difficult to just stop and breathe and look around and realize there's a lot of beauty. There's a lot of wonderful things that we all have in our lives, even if we're struggling, even if we're dealing with depression or sadness or health issues or financial issues, even if we're trying to reach our dreams and they just feel like they're not coming any closer. Maybe some days those dreams feel like they're just getting pushed further and further away. Today, I just want you to stop and breathe with me and let's think about the things that we're so grateful for. I never thought that I would be an author. I never thought that anyone in the world would ever read any of my books and not hate them completely. I'm thankful for you guys for reading my books and loving them and supporting them. I am thankful that I am able to live in a house with so many people because there's a lot of love and laughter and there's a lot of really ridiculously strange things that happen when like eight or nine members of a family get together in one house. There's a lot of Magic the Gathering that is played and I'm so thankful for that. I'm thankful for all the books I'm able to read. I'm thankful for all the incredible people that I've met online um, being an author. I'm thankful for far too many things and I don't want to list them all off because you guys are going to get incredibly tired of listening to me be positive. It's not a very natural thing for me to be positive. But today I just want to give you guys a quick reminder that I love you, God loves you, I hope you remember to love yourself and I hope you remember to be thankful for every amazing little gift that you have every single day in your life. If you're a creative person, be so thankful that you're able to talk to other people online, get on YouTube, on Instagram and connect with those people. Be so thankful for the talent that you have that so many people wish they did but don't. If you have one of those magnetic, exciting personalities, then be grateful for the fact that you can go out into a crowd and you can make people smile. If you're stressing out about how you don't have a lot of money or you're going through financial problems, be thankful that you have a roof over your head, that you have food and water and a place where you feel safe to sleep at night. And if you don't feel safe, then remember that you're still loved. Thankful for the people in your life that have been positive and supportive and given you a reason to smile. If you're sitting in class watching this, be thankful that you're getting an education. <laughs> as much as it sucks sometimes. And if you're working on a book and your greatest dream is to get published or to work in publishing, be thankful that you're already on that path. Be thankful for the amazing journey that you're gonna go on as you try and reach those dreams. Did the dogs just switch behind me? Are you thankful for this bone? You're welcome. Sometimes it can feel like it's really, really hard to see them, but just open up your eyes, look around, take a second to breathe and remember, you know what, life sucks a lot of times, but every day, even if you can just find one tiny little thing to be thankful for, I think it'll really change your outlook. I'm gonna work on it. I hope you guys will work on it too. And let me know in the comments what you're thankful for. I would love to hear about it. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. I'm even thankful for you, even though you're always so mad at me. Why are you so mad? I'm thankful for this little tiny BB-8 light that I got for my husband. I'm thankful for the incredibly adorable sweet note that he left on the door the other day before he left for work. And my little tiny bookshelf that has all of my books in my room. I'm so excited. I'm thankful for this call your mom thing that my mom gave me because it helps me from getting in trouble when I forget to call her. I'm thankful for you. You're so sweet, boo! 